Welcome back to another video. My name is Brian Nestline. I am a psychic, clairvoyant, medium, empath, intuitive card reader. And these cards are just simply images and words. I'm going to flip some over. I'm going to read them to you. Now, you wouldn't be here if this reading of these cards wasn't for you. I'm going to be picking a card, picking a bunch of cards, reading the cards, and card readings are here to help give you information that can lead to transformation. Transformation. Now look, the future is not set in stone. No, no, no. You, my friends, have control over your future. Now look, everything that can happen is already happening right now in the eternal moment of the present, the eternal now. And as it's unfolding through time, like waves, we are making choices and decisions or thoughts. We're investing our emotional interest, our awareness into thoughts and ideas and concepts. And as we focus our thoughts and our ideas, those things get magnified, they get electrified, they get emotionalized, they get emotionalized, and then they start to balance. They balance out, we travel to that little dimension of time, that little possibility in time, and we balance out there. We level out there, just like you see in the card. Now, the card is holding these two cups. Why? One of them is the information, the other one is the emotion. This is how we balance everything out and how we keep the world of other choices away. That's what these people represent. All the other potentialities that we don't want or we don't prefer, we're not going to look at them in the eyes. See, we're behind them. We're behind them looking in two other places, these two cups. Now I'm going to get into this. So look, we're talking about timeline shifting. We're talking about controlling our futures. We're talking about predicting our futures. We're talking about getting the balanced state of mental and emotional well-being that allows us to navigate our day over and over again as we go along. Okay, so the white light is who we are. If you know you are the white light, you're wearing the white coat. The white light is the idea that there's one power, not two. There's one power happening in the world, not two. There's only one white light power, not two. Look, go into your kitchen and look at your appliances. They're all plugged into one thing, not two. Every little thing is electrified and that is who you are. You're a singing little candle of light that you're focusing on something that you think about, know about, and describe. When you use your words, you allow the current to flow into a little cup. And that cup and that light balance out. The white light is where you arrive at, where you arrive at. Behind all of these other choices, inside this place of navigation, you're driving the balance of your life. You're making your future. Not really creating it. You're just selecting it, voting for it, navigating and driving to it. So, Again, these people represent the other possibilities, the blues, the greens, the browns, the things we haven't decided, decided, or uncited and chose. They're not what we want. This is <laughs> the other alternative universes that we're not going to travel into in this moment. Somehow you decided that you were going to stay in this little reality where you would hear this information for your highest good, and it would help you to be able to choose and create or vote for your future in the near future, and that is what we're doing here. So, whoa, whoa, what the heck am I talking about? I'm gonna tell you it again. Get ready to go wherever you wanna be. Get ready to decide that you are free. If you wanna know something important, open your eyes and see that the things you focus on and feel are the things that will become real. They are going to be what you see in your soon reality. Why? Because God created you in his image. What the heck does that mean? It means that there's nothing but white light and the word of God to define it, to move it, to fly into that space of creative life. You're creating destinations by what you speak and what you put your emotional interest into.
Yeah, and then the actions that you'll take are going to kind of unfold to get you there too. Yeah, I mean, if I want to go ahead and go to California from Connecticut, I get a map, right? I get in the car, right? I put my foot on the gas pedal, right? And on 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 and on. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in a place where I am constantly reiterating the things I want to see come back as I speak them over and over. I put, 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 put what? Put my emotional power into them. Put my little bit of what, 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 what right up into them and they do what, 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 what? They come bouncing back as a real life experience. You're living in the matrix. There's no real bother to have me tell your future unless you would rather learn how to choose it for yourself. Yeah, because that's what we really want. Brian, how can I navigate to the future I prefer? How can I do that? Again, balance, balance. What? We want to pause and breathe and get beyond our emotional nature and recognize that driver, that observer, that white light, the I am inside you. This is why spiritual awakening is the most important thing. Waking up to knowing you are a spirit and not just a self in the world. Getting beyond into that quiet inner consciousness space. Once you're there, you know that you are the driver of the car called you. Then all you do is imagine and feel what you really want to see reflected back in real and the rest of the world will be disgruntled. They didn't choose us. Oh, we're mad. So what? We'll choose you on another round. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be there. And these people aren't so much real anyway. They're just versions of people that you decided to interact with in this reality that you chose. And I'm just a version of a person who you decided to listen to for a little bit of time to get this balance reading. So what have we learned here? What's the difference? It's all about participating in the things that you love and doing what you really want and really feeling what it's like to know that you know something, to know that you don't have any doubt about something, to feel like everything is okay even if it doesn't make sense all the time, to let go enough, to let go enough to dance in that little balanced place of believing before seeing, believing before seeing, be and then leave it before you even see it, be up here and then leave it alone until it comes reflected back in your reality. Then you'll be walking on the chakra path. Then you'll be the one who knows what's real. You're going to know it all starts up here. Won't need me to tell you your future because you're free to vote for it and choose it yourself. So let's go into another card and see what we see. So glad you're here with me. People like you who are wide open minded down the rabbit hole, believing in the stars, always going further, knowing there's no limit. You've lost all the despondence. Hopelessness is gone. Overcome the world. Put your hands up. Surrender to the light of anything is possible to you. Look at her just glancing. Oh, wow, wow, you did it. I'm so happy I have found my higher self that lives inside me that will know the things I say are true, true. I'm growing all the vines, the vines of all my lifetime plucking all the leaves from the tree of life that I live upon. Nothing can prevent all the good I want from coming to. Me and you and this imaginary creature, this you of you that we don't see, this little thing that's green heart chakra blowing open the whole thing. We're going to swim into the sky, pull down the big desires, plant them in our seated basket, watch them become reflected back. No trick here. No one can take the things that you make, the things that you put your heart into. Whoa, 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 whoa. back on the path of what? Of whatever the heck you want it to be, of whatever the heck you want to see. Brian, will my relationship get better? 
Let's look. I know how to fish. I'll go in my mind. I'll think what better means. And I'll paint a picture now. Do I want smooth transactions with my mate? Are we both happy? Are we never late? I'll make a little scene and I'll paint it with my heart and I'll put a lot of detail in and that's where it will start to become real and they will peek over at you and <laughs> that will start to feel like what's happening and you'll notice it. You'll notice it reflected back. The workaholic says that this always works. It works 24 seven, the workaholic. God, source, universe, your creative votes up here, your belief, your faith, that is what's working 24 seven. If you believe and have faith in things getting crappy or in it going south, that's what you're gonna start seeing on the painting of the canvas of your life, of the world, of the purple crown chakra people that we all are, we all are. Brian, 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 yes, yes, yes. Tell me something, tell me something, what? You're telling me. Show me what the next card is. I have no idea. Why don't you just read it to me? What? I think I am. When we are strong, we can sit down and laugh at all the stuff we've told ourselves when we were young and fresh, when we were bold and courageous, when we were princesses, and we are that always eternally, when we are the immaculate, lit up on the white light green chakra book, and we'll sit down and get old as we watch the story be told under our seat, the news is all past. Throw out your newspaper. Not really, not really. You don't need it, you're the newsmaker, you're the one who is breaking the white light open and spreading it in the world. And it's not gonna pass you by, my friend. It's going to pass on in, pass on in to your reality, the passion, the passing in to this world of the white light that has decided it needs your words, it needs your vote, it needs your belief, it needs your courage, it needs you to go where no one's been into the place within, within. So, oh, we better close out this crazy reading. And I know it's crazy. It's even crazy for me to hear me say it. Now listen to it over and over again until it starts to get some type of point across that's different than what you first thought so that you can see that what you want to be is really up to you, my friends. It's time for you to make the painting one that never ends. We're living inside a dream. You're the one who is real. And what you pick and vote for in your higher room is what is the whole deal, the whole deal. Oh yeah, don't reject that gift. Don't trade it in for somebody else's words. Go out and boldly claim and paint what you prefer. You have my permission, not that you would ever need it, but I'm here because you sent me. You sent me to remind you of what you have at your disposal. Take care. Thanks for watching this video, this spiritually channeled what message. Subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of different stuff happening and I would love for you to continue to be part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave me a comment. Let me know what in the what. <laughs> I'd like to hear it. Take care. Be well till tomorrow.